Hey everyone, welcome to SEMA 2022. We're at our booth, Greg's Restorations, with our two trucks that we built right behind us. This is a custom Toyota Land Cruiser Resta Mod that we built with this custom M677. Our builds are really subtle, but custom. You look at the vehicles from the side, they look like they are very stock, but then when you get up to them, you see all these subtle custom features that make them unique in their own. They were built to be driven. A lot of the SEMA vehicles are, are here to be just built to be on display. Like both of these vehicles had a purpose to be daily driven. So these two vehicles behind us, you can literally hop in them and drive them a couple hundred miles on the road. They're both tested, tuned, and ready to go. So both of these vehicles are entered in Battle of the Builders. Behind us here is a Battle of the Builders and Young Guns. So anyone that is 29 years and younger had, were chosen to build custom vehicles to enter in the SEMA show from all over the country. As well as today at 1.30, they will be announcing top 40 builders at SEMA. So hopefully we'll be, be in the show. 250 cars entered this year's battle and our judges have narrowed it down to 40 finalists. But this was one of the hardest years yet. Greg Ward and his 1971 Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser. We just placed top 40 Battle of Builders at SEMA with their custom Toyota Land Cruiser behind us. It's an honor. We are blown away. Never even thought this would even happen. Big thanks to the team at my shop. We've been working on this for over three years. So guys back home, thanks. And then uh, tomorrow they'll be announcing top 12. This is our first SEMA show and it's pretty exciting. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is SEMA Day 2. Uh, we've been walking around checking out some of the really cool cars that have been displayed at SEMA 2022 this year. Uh, behind us is this custom FJ45 pickup. I think it'd be a good way to start off the day by shooting something that is relative to what we do. There is a lot of cool stuff here this year. There's been a lot of more stuff since last year. I heard the show is between 4, 30 and 40% larger, and you can tell. We've been walking around, we went to the Central Hall, uh, I got away from the booth for a few minutes and uh, got to see some really, really cool stuff. My taste is I like classic four-wheel drive trucks, lifted stuff. Golden Nugget, there's a whole YouTube channel about this, this guy who rescued this uh, abandoned Suzuki out in the woods and they had to float it out on a river. That is actually here. Hot rods, trucks, anything you can imagine. We've seen a ten, or maybe a tenth of the show. So behind us, we are here with carbody.com. A lot of Land Cruiser enthusiasts and builders like myself have been waiting for a company to build a full reproduction body. There's been some like pictures going around the internet for about over a year now of this company launching a product like this. And uh, this is the first time that I've seen something like this in person. A lot of other companies make reproduction panels, Aqualoo, Cool Cruisers, but they don't make a full reproduction steel body. Um, a lot of the problems with these Land Cruisers is they are very rusty over here in like the States and other parts of the world as well. Big touche to this company. Thanks. So here we are today over at Retro Manufacturing. Uh, they actually donated the radio sound system for our Land Cruiser build that is in SEMA, Battle of the Builders. Uh, we place top 40 with the build. We are here with Joseph today with uh, International Scout behind us uh, in his booth. Yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, we did donate the radio. It's a retro sound radio that we gave over to you. Um, that's the unit you got installed. It looks great in the truck. We're really, really happy with the way you guys put that in there. We make classic car radios. 
uh, for classic cars with updated technology. So our thing is it's going to look period correct in the dash, but it's going to sound like a brand new radio. So fit the part for what, what build they were working on there, and uh, it's going to update that audio technology so they can listen to their favorite tracks. Thank you for that, Joseph, and uh, stay tuned. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. This is SEMA Day 2. Today, they are announcing the top 12 builders out of the whole show. There was over 250 submitted requests. We were picked for top 40, so top 10 off-road and four-wheel drive. So who knows? We might be top 12. We'll find out shortly. 2022 SEMA Battle of the Builders in the four-wheel drive and off-road category. Greg Ward. Yes! Oh, so badass. Oh, it's, it's awesome. We made top 12. Uh, top three off-road and four-wheel drive with our 1971 Toyota Land Cruiser Restomod. It's just so crazy. I, I wouldn't even imagine that this would have happened. All the late night stress, you know, no sleep. It all it all worked out. So uh, I can't thank my team enough for, for helping me get here. So tomorrow we're going to be spending seven hours judging the top 12 cars. So I'm actually one of the judges for tomorrow's show. So uh, it's a full day. I'm not going to be working the booth. So I'm going to be here up here on stage and we're going to be judging every single person's car, including mine. Hey everyone, welcome back. Day three of SEMA Battle of the Builders. We are top 12 with a bunch of really cool cars and trucks behind us. Very exciting day. Uh, we are actually Get to be one of the judges, we'll be judging one of the other classes. Uh, there was three other trucks that are in our classes, a uh, custom uh, Blazer by Ring Brothers, and then there's also a custom F-250 Ford truck by uh, Velocity. It's, uh, we got some really crazy competition today. Wish us luck. We just went through eight hours of judging. So we, all the 12 uh, finalists were the judges of all the cars. We couldn't judge the cars ourselves. We had to talk about the cars and trucks. We had uh, five minutes underneath and five minutes on top going on, going on about everything, engine, exterior, interior, drivetrain. Uh, now it's down to the top four finalists. Wish us luck. In the next category, which is four wheel and off road, the winner is Jim Ring. We did not place top four. We were up against some pretty uh, intense, cha pretty intense vehicles. Uh, the K5 Blazer that actually beat us is absolutely insane. The level of detail and custom parts on the vehicle knock us out of the water. It would be an insult if we won over them, anyways. Um, but it just makes us. We're going to strive to get bigger and better and try to do better things in the future. So. Uh, we not know when we're going to be back. Maybe we'll be back next year or the year after, but uh, who knows? We're going to find something else to bring and kind of get some ideas. 
Hey, welcome back. SEMA Day 4. Uh, today is going to be one of the biggest days yet. So we are going to be driving out to SEMA Ignite. All the top 12 contestants that won uh, will be driving out single file. Uh, the top four uh, will be driving out first. Uh, we still don't know who is the exact winner. I think it's going to be one of the Ring Brothers. We haven't figured out which brother yet. Uh, pretty exhausting week. Uh, this was not a vacation by any means, but we're so happy that we placed top 12. Uh, a lot of thanks to everybody back home. It's, it's been wild, so uh, stay tuned for the parade. my first time ever doing this. We're up here with some pretty good competitors. It's an honor. 